So the internet is already a scary place as it is. But when it comes to ordering stuff online, that basically makes it a horror movie at that. What's up you guys, Chase the Dark Sage here, and today we are back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the top five risks, or in my opinion, the top five risks of ordering manga online. And we all have our opinion on ordering online. We all have our experiences with ordering online. In fact, I made a community post on my YouTube page, which if you haven't seen it, it's probably because you don't have the notifications on, which you need to turn that bad boy on. And I made a community post asking you guys, what is the scariest thing or what is the worst thing about ordering online? And you guys answered it, so I wanna say I appreciate everybody who had some input to put on that. I had to compile my own list before I made that because I wanted to see if any of you guys' topics on there we're similar to mine on this actual list right here. So before we actually get into the video, before I tell you my top five risks of ordering manga online, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and follow me on all my other social media platforms. All my links will be in the description down below. So, uh, let's go ahead and talk about it, baby. Now let's go ahead with the number one most feared risk of ordering online. That has to be damage during transit. And what that means is basically the seller or the actual company, they've already packed up the manga, they've already put it in the box, and they've already shipped it off. But somehow in transit, either the mailman acts like they're playing in FIFA, or they might just wanna throw stuff like it's a football. I don't know, but it just gets damaged during transit. So it basically gets damaged while it's on the way to you rather than actually being damaged coming from the actual seller or the company itself. And that really sucks for the seller and the company because they probably gotta have to take a hit or probably have to refund you their money unless they put some insurance on that bad boy, which if you guys are ordering online, I, I kind of advise you to get some type of insurance because a lot of times I see a lot of people get their manga damaged when it comes to being in transit. And I've even seen someone on Twitter blame me for their manga coming damaged, which that, that was weird. But <laughs> either way, damage during transit is definitely one thing that I fear a lot, especially when it comes to people who really don't package their manga well, like Amazon. And we all know that Amazon is a, a serial offender of not packaging their manga well. So let's go ahead and move on to the second topic. The second topic has to be getting lost in transit. Now we've seen that tracking number hit us. We probably put it in some type of tracking app. I personally use shop, but we put it in some type of tracking app and we see it on its way. We see it's supposed to be here by a certain date. And then when that certain day comes through, it's not the doorstep. We check the tracking and we see that somehow it's still at one certain post office or it says that, you know, it's gonna arrive late or, you know, they basically say like, yo, we lost it, and that is the worst feeling I have ever seen. My stomach drops to my behind when I see that, especially when it's a when it's a nice little package that you've been waiting for, that you've been hyped for, and someone loses it? Oh my lord. And don't let it be an out of print manga. Oh, because if they can't find it, oh, you about to, you about to raise some That's what you about to do, you about to raise some for that package. But I think the best thing to do in that situation is to probably call that service, whether it be USPS or UPS, FedEx, and give them the tracking number, they'll open up a case, and Strangely enough, every time I do that, a few hours later, my package is back on the way. That is the weirdest thing ever. It's like I gotta call you guys to make sure you're on your ish, and then my package is back on the tracks of getting to me. Kind of weird, kind of coincidental, but I ain't gonna assume anything, you feel me? So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the third topic because we still got two more on the way. Third point has to be buying from sellers directly. And what I mean by that is like, you go on our manga swap or you go on Discord or you go on Instagram, Twitter. You buy a manga literally from the person that's selling it. You don't go through a middleman service like eBay or Macari where they're gonna hold the seller and you accountable for that package itself. No, 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 no. You actually go to the seller, message them, and you buy it. Now, this could be a win-win situation because the seller can sometimes give a bigger discount since they don't have a middleman taking a fee from the actual profit. And sometimes they can give you a little bit of a bigger discount because they probably just have to take that PayPal fee. But if you're not careful, this is how you could get scammed. And the only way that you cannot get scammed in this way is to use PayPal and pay with goods and services. I repeat, use PayPal, pay with goods and services. That way, if someone tries to scam you, if your package doesn't arrive when it's supposed to arrive, you can open up a case on PayPal and they'll start messaging the seller and making sure that, you know, they're doing everything on their end. And if things actually come out the way that you've been saying to them, you'll get your money back and they'll probably keep that same package that they was already keeping from you in general. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the fourth topic. Now the fourth topic has to be buying used manga on Amazon. 
Do I really need to explain this? I, I, okay, I guess I'll explain this. Usually when you go on Amazon, you see sold by and shipped by Amazon. That means that it's coming from the actual Amazon warehouse. But if it says shipped by Amazon or sold by so-and-so company and shipped by so-and-so company, that's where I start to get a little bit weary because honestly, you don't know how that manga is gonna look. They're only gonna have the stock photo up of that manga. And it's usually like a library copy or a very, very beaten up used yellow copy. And that is a risk on its own right there because you don't know what you're gonna get, but you're expecting some pretty pristine looking manga. But sadly, a lot of the times it's usually those out of print or really severely out of stock manga that you're going on Amazon to buy used and it can be a risk. I'm not gonna lie, it can be a risk. I bought in some used manga off of Amazon and it's turned out well for me. I never really had a bad experience buying off of Amazon used manga, but I know a lot of people that have and I've seen a lot of people buy some pretty beat up manga. That, that manga looked like it's been in the ring with Floyd Mayweather, you feel what I'm saying? So I don't wanna get any manga like that. I'm, I'm scared, I'm, I'm, I'm terrified of getting any manga like that. So I wouldn't advise buying manga used, but if you're really, really desperate to buy this manga that's out of print or severely out of stock and you can't wait, you can't find any better deals, I'd say try out buying the manga used on Amazon. But I'll say that if you don't like it, maybe you'll be able to return it. But then again, you didn't have a photo for reference to see how it looked before, so you can't really say, oh, this manga came damaged. And the seller be like, well, we already told you that it was used. We didn't tell you how badly used it was, so. No refund for you. You don't want a situation happening like that. So maybe you want to stay away from that. I don't know. You can take a risk doing that. Like I said, these are all risks online. And the last risk that I have on this list is actually buying stock photos put up by sellers, whether that be on eBay or Mercari. We've all seen the Funko Pop listings. We've all seen the figure listing. We've all seen manga listings of some seller putting up a manga or putting up some random item on eBay. And it's just a picture from the actual website that sells it. Whether that be a Yu-Gi-Oh volume, whether that be a Kawa volume, which I will be opening up today because I want to show you guys what it's like to take a risk on actually buying something from stock photos. Shout out to my boy Beta for the link. But this is one of the biggest risks because just like Amazon, how they put up the stock photo, you don't know what you're getting with this. And you can't really go to the middleman saying like, yo, this wasn't what it was in the picture. And they was probably like, where's the reference photo so we can actually look at this. And you can't give them no reference photo because you literally just bought from a stock image. Are you dead ass, Ed Bowie? Yeah, that is probably one of the worst situations. And you're taking a big risk because you don't know what condition that manga is coming in. And in today's video right now, I'm actually gonna show you what it's like to buy a stock photo listing on eBay. Now, I've been looking for Akira Toriyama's works recently because I want my whole top shelf right here to be all of Akira Toriyama's work. Eventually, I'm gonna get into Dr. Slump, but this manga right here is Kawa, and I don't know what necessarily it's about. It looks really Halloween vibey esque type thing, but I really wanted it because, like I said, I want a Akira Toriyama shelf, and I've been wanting this Kawa manga, but it's been ranging for about 30 plus dollars, and honestly, I don't wanna pay that much of the manga volume. That's literally just a single, like a regular paperback volume right there. So my boy Beta knows I've been looking for it. He saw this listing up. We both were wary about it, but I still wanted to buy it and see what it was gonna offer me. If it's gonna be something trash, then honestly, I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and pay that $30 to get a regular volume online, even though it's probably super old and probably yellow by now. I still wanna see what this has to offer. And just looking from the actual packaging, I can't show you the front because my address is on it. It looks like it's coming from a library. So this is gonna be a library copy. It's probably gonna have some of the stickers on it. But sometimes when it comes to library copies, you can peel the stickers off easily. Sometimes, a lot of the times. Sometimes I've seen some people try and rip it off and they end up damaging the manga ball. I know scary but today we're actually going to open this and see what's actually inside because i'm very curious as to how this is going to look and you guys can judge for yourself whether you want to try and buy a stock image and take that risk of buying online so yeah let's go ahead i see that it is a shonen jump volume it is a yellowed which i don't really have a big problem with because this is like i said an older manga that's probably been out on the shelf oh i already see a library sticker on it oh that looks nasty but hopefully i can get a blow dryer and actually pull the sticker off and Right here, we have the Kawa manga. This actually does not look bad. Like I said, I paid $9 for this. Like I said before, the volume does go for about 30 plus on eBay. So right here, we have the manga volume, Kawa by Akira Toriyama. I really love Akira Toriyama's work. Here goes the sticker that I was talking about. And I just hate that that little scratch out of the barcode right there. Like, why y'all doing that? And the manga volume is kind of dirty. It's a little bit dirty and it has some tape right here. Uh, 
Uh, I'm kind of sad, but I'm not too, too sad because hopefully this tape does come off easily. Like I said, I'm gonna get a blow dryer and I'm gonna see if I could actually melt some of the adhesive and make it weak and actually pull some of these stickers off without damaging the volume. But either way, it's some yellow ink, which I expect, but it's still not a bad volume. I've seen very, very, very worse volume conditions at like half price book. So to have this right here, I'm pretty happy for about $10. I'm getting what I paid for, so I can't be too mad, but uh, the stickers and stuff from the actual library, it just makes the volume feel filthy. Like I gotta, I gotta put some hand sanitizer on my hands at the touch of this bad boy. But that's about it for today's video. Let me know what you thought about today's video. Let me know some of your risks. If you did not comment on the community post, let me know some of the risks that you've encountered or some of the risks that you think of when ordering a manga online. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. If you are new to the channel, you haven't already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, post notification bell, like the video, and I gotta give a huge shout out to my Patreon pledges. But going ahead and financially support the channel. That's why I highly appreciate what you guys are doing for me. Financially donating on Patreon. And I gotta give a huge shout out to the YouTube members for also financially donating on the YouTube side of things as well. Big shout out to Broke Boy Gang because I didn't want to go broke buying this Kawamanga right here. But I saved a little bit of money. I took a risk. And I'm not too much a Broke Boy Gang right now. Still always gonna be Broke Boy Gang. But I'm not too much a Broke Boy Gang right now. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. Peace. Look, y'all see me trying to, I'm, try, I'm trying to get this off. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I thought it was going to come cleanly off. I think the sticker that was keeping the, oh, wait, that might actually come off easy. I don't know. I don't know. What, what we doing? What we doing, man? Oh, oh, it's a success. Whenever, whenever this, this adhesive comes off without ripping the volume apart, it's a success. Thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. Now this one's going to be a real pain in the butt. Peace.